Some people don't believe in supernatural things, even when supernatural things has happened to them. So I'm thinking, if you have experienced supernatural things, why don't you believe in it when it has happened to you? I believe this. Everyone that is on this earth, I don't know about kids or babies, but most people that are on this earth, I believe that supernatural things has happened to them. Okay. So let me say this. I don't know if you have seen spirits before or not. Maybe some have, maybe some not. But with me, I mostly see demonic spirits, which is very annoying. And sometimes I see things of God, maybe 1%, <laughs> I'm serious, 1% or let's say at most 5%. And I don't know why that is. Maybe I don't ask for supernatural or I don't really ask for dreams from God and stuff like that. Every so often I may, but now, not really, because I just want to sleep well without being chased in my dreams and someone trying to kill me or like a sexual dream. I just want to sleep <laughs> in peace. So let me say this. I have seen my guardian angel in spiritual visions. I may have seen her three times in visions. And with my natural eyes, my natural eyes, I have seen her less than 10 times with my natural eyes, and I only could see her outline, maybe from her head down to her waist, I guess, yes, or a little bit lower. I never saw her feet. Even in my visions, I never saw her feet. Never. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I should ask God if I can see her feet, you know? <laughs> okay. So, yes, let me say this. Some people may say that there are no such thing as male and female angels. I know I have seen male angels. I know that I have seen a female angel. Now, are all angels male and female? Maybe not. But there are male and female angels. You can choose to believe that or not, which is fine, really. <laughs> it is fine. So this one day, I was sitting on my couch. Then all of a sudden, I seen the spirit right by my laptop and my printer. And I was sitting there, I'm like, am I actually seeing this? Like, is this really happening? Like, what is going on? And the spirit was flickering in and out. Like, kind of like, an analog TV or something like that. You know, when the image goes in and out, like, uh, I don't know how to say it, but the image of that spirit was like, like going in and out. And I was thinking, yes, let me say this too. That spirit took the image of my angel. So, and I was thinking, that is not my angel, because like the whole presentation, what it is doing, and I can't sense a bad presence or a good presence, 
and stuff like I'm like, no, something is not right. And it was there, like head towards me, looking right at me, and I am looking at it, and it is going like in and out. Let me show you something. Or <laughs> maybe this is a bad example, like it's going like image in the image out the image you know I don't know if that makes any sense like the image will come on or I could see it but it will like <laughs> like that and I'm like what in the world and I wasn't sure if that was my angel or not but like I said the presentation was really off so I was like, look, demons, I bind and cast you out right now. And within 10 seconds or so, I could not see it. So this goes to show you that demons can take the image of your angels or anything that is good. They can take the image of it. So we have to be very careful of who or, or what spirit we entertain ourselves with some people see their dead parents or their dead mom or or cousin or auntie and so on and so on and they may think that those spirits are actually them so some people may talk to those spirits which is crazy. When you die, that's it. You are either going to hell or heaven. They are not going to come back to your home and stay there for a month or two years just talking to you and stuff like that. You have to be very careful of that. If they show up at your home, you command them to leave because, because those are demons. Demons can take the shape of almost anything, or maybe anything. So yes, they can take the shape of something that you know, or someone that you know. It was trying to fool me. Maybe it was trying to lower my guard so I can talk to it and blah, blah, blah. Maybe get me to do evil things. Be careful, man. Be very, very careful. Because these demons aren't playing around. So stop talking to those spirits that look like your mom, dad, cousin, cousin, aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, so on and so on. Stop talking to them. Because if you do, and if you entertain those spirits and let them stay in your home or wherever else, your atmosphere is going to get worse and worse and worse. Because there is no good when you speak to demons and entertain them and let them stay in your home. Does that make any sense? Be careful. You can really do what you want to do, but if you want peace and good things to happen, you have to kick out, you have to kick out all demons. Does that make any sense? Well, that's my dead mother right there, you know. She just came back to say hi and talk to me. That is a demon. Okay. God bless.